everybody! Back again! Um, I uh, had some um, job interviews in the last weeks and months and um, I'm, I started to work out a very good makeup or uh, everyday look for it. So uh, I will show you this look today. So a little get ready with me. Um, I just washed my face, I cleansed my face with a um, cleanser from Youth People. Kale and green tea, spinach, vitamins, superfood cleanser. Um, I bought this at Sephora in Milano, in Milano, <laughs> in Italy. And yeah, it's quite good. It's a little bit... Um, drying my skin so I start with something hydrating uh, I said with a dramatically different hydrating jelly from Clinique as a first step just one shot and put it on my face and a little bit on my neck of course and the eyes just dab it in like this. I wait a, a little bit to let it sink. Yes, my job interviews were quite okay. I started uh, to have fun at my job interviews. My husband told me have fun and I started to have fun and it was quite good. It was not, I was not so nervous and uh, just, yeah, been who I am and if somebody doesn't like that as it already happens it's okay for me because yeah I yeah it's it's uh, difficult to be someone else at an interview and what should you do afterwards when you get the job you are something somebody else a day and at the evening some your natural one no, not for me. So let's go ahead. Some uh, vitamin C for the glow. C Firma Day Serum from Drunk Elephant. You can see the difference when it's on my skin. It's also one shot. Uh, it's uh, orange. I put it everywhere, I put it on the eyes as well, uh, not on the eyes, but under and over the eyes. And just press it in. Like this, yeah. So uh, last week I had an interview, it was quite, it was okay. Um, I was good, <laughs> uh, but um, yeah, the people I met were only okay. Let's see what's happening there. I was a little bit disappointed because, okay, uh, I, I, I'm using uh, the Repair Wear Laser Focus Clinique um, eye cream. Yeah, it's very creamy and hydrating. Just put it on my ring fingers and dab it under the eyes. I have a mirror over there. <laughs> That's why I don't look at you. <laughs> and a little bit above the eyes. Yeah. No, I was disappointed because uh, they asked me a lot of questions like, yeah, did you do that and this? And I was like, no, 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 no. <laughs> and um, that's no problem for me because I know I can do it, but I don't have any... I can't tell them any um, examples what I just did and... Logistics is a complicated department. Okay, next I will use the even better skin tone correcting moisturizer with FP SPF 20. Um, I started to use it because after um, my summer holidays last year, no, this year, this year still this year, um, I got some... Um,
darker spots on my face, like on, on the forehead and around the nose and everywhere. Yeah, and um, I don't know if it helps, but it feels very good and moisturizing and it's F SPF. This is all also very important. So it's okay. I don't know if I will buy it again, but I like it. Yeah. So um, I let this thing. When I have a job interview, I it is important for me that uh, um, the foundation, the foundation. I'm not wearing foundation. You will see uh, in some minutes. Um, will last the whole day, uh, and that's why I'm using a primer. This is the Good Hydration Silky Face Primer Hydrating uh, from Bare Minerals. I don't know if I would recommend it, um, but it feels like, like a normal moisturizer, not silicone or something like this. And yeah, it's, it's okay. Um, I can't say if it, everything stays where it should the whole day over, but it feels safer to use it. Yeah, yeah. Hypes from the internet. Thank you. Yeah. I just put it where I will have a little bit of foundation on my skin. Dab it in. And then, ooh, sorry, mascara. Um, I'm using the Under Eye Brightening Corrector from Becca. It's pink and if you put pink um, on, on dark areas in your face, it, neutral, it neutralizes uh, yeah, the color. And I just put it there where it's a little bit darker under my eyes. And you you will see the difference in a, in a minute in a second <laughs> in a minute in a second. There you are. I think it looks quite good. Okay, then a little bit of tint in my face. I'm using the Helena Rubinstein Magic Concealer, the number two medium around the cheek. Ooh, this is running out. Um, around the cheek and nose area because you can see I'm a little bit reddish here, reddish, <laughs> red here and around the nose I'm always red. And a little bit on the cheek and a little bit on this dark spot at the top on the forehead, like this. And it stays like this? No, it won't stay like this. <laughs> and then I'm using the Helena Rubinstein Magic Concealer number no. one in light under my eyes. This is, um, I usually wouldn't have bought it, but my husband, he's a very, very, the best husband in the world, and um, he bought the wrong color. <laughs> but it's, it's okay, because I can use it under the eyes. It will stay for, because I just need a tiny, tiny bit, um, forever until the world goes down, but that's okay for me. A little bit above as well, and then I use the damp sponge. And dab it in, and I start with a with a medium color because I don't want a light color on the face. In the nose <laughs> as well. I put something on the chin and on the forehead. I'm just dabbing. It's not hurting. Maybe it looks like it's hurting, but it's not hurting. Like this. Going in yours. Let me see. Yeah, very flawless, and the redness is um, away. And then I start to dab it in under the eyes. I'm using not a wet foundation, I'm using the Bare Minerals uh, Beautiful Finish Foundation Brush, yes, from Bare Minerals with the original Loose Powder Foundation with SPF 15. 
So this is in this small pot. You open it and you, it's like powder. Then you take the brush and just swirl around and then you have it in the middle of the brush that looks like a little cat paw and it's as soft as a cat paw. <laughs> and then I dab a little bit everywhere in my face first because um, when I started to use it I just went in and brushed and it was like okay this is uh, quite a lot um, that's why I'm using it like this and then you then you go in circles over your face and brush it in the skin <laughs> And I think it's um, already sealing uh, the concealer and it's a little bit mattifying but um, there's still, yeah, there's also a glow inside and to um, make the glow even more I used the original mineral veil also from Bare Minerals and do the same just put something in the lid but not so much because it's very glittery and I seal everything so there's a little bit of a glow but we will have more glow of course we can see so now sealed everything and then um, as I'm not using full face foundation um, I shouldn't skip uh, or I, I should skip that step but I love every step of a makeup tutorial and um, that's why I'm you um, having a little bit of um, contouring just a little bit not like the Kardashian contouring um, I'm using the the sculpting powder medium from Kevin O'Quan it looks like this it's very ashy and I'm using uh, from the setting brush from Real Techniques and I'm swirling here and I just saw um, a video from Victoria Beckham where she's uh, where she's having a makeup from from another person I can't remember and she said she started here and I'm doing an oh so I see a little bit of my jawline and with most of the powder she starts at, at the at the ear and then draws a little line just a little bit oh. <laughs> to have a little bit of definition you can see it I think now this is without this with. and if you see it from the front it's like I'm a slim girl. <laughs> okay, on the other side as well. And I like to contour a little bit of my chin because mostly my chin is there is no chin, there's or no jawline, there's neck, only neck. So I try to draw a jawline. That's it for contouring. 